Okay, Sunday morning, and a nicer day today. A bit sunnier. Uh, I'm just going to check where the bike is. It should be around 50, probably between 50 and 60 percent. Yeah, oh, bang on, 55 percent. Um, yeah, so it's happy stayed like that. So it's unplugged the car time. Ah, uh, uh, soggy. It's a bit wet. Put that back in. Yeah, trying to film. We do this at the same time, it's not easy. Job jobbed. Yeah, we'll put that back. All done. 174 miles, it reckons. And we'll see. Right, arrived in Newark. Yeah, we've got just a little under half tank left, but we're at Riverside Car Park. So there's plenty of charge points here, it's good to see. So we're gonna plug in while well, we have a little time with my in-laws. Yeah, so we come out to sunny Newark. It's kind of a almost a midway point between ourselves and in-laws, mother-in-law and stepfather-in-law. I'm not convinced the car's charging actually, at that charging car point. Uh, I'm going to go and check it in a few minutes. Um, yeah, it's making all the right noises and things, but I can't see the LEDs throbbing, which means no good. I'll go and check it in a minute. I'm going to say hello anyway. Woo! Hello! Hello! Not convinced the car's charging.
Okay, so that was a pleasant little excursion to Newark. Or we're not fully charged, but we're, we're not far off. Yeah, and what are you looking at? 182 miles, so absolutely no problem. Very pleasant time. So we're back from Newark. Uh, we got back, actually we got back a couple, two and a half hours ago, thereabouts. Um, nice easy day today. It was uh, it was really pleasant actually. I haven't done much traveling in the MG ZS EV. Um, most of the miles I do are on two wheels really. And I, I was, I have actually considered whether it was worth me getting the MG ZS EV uh, in that we don't do a huge number of miles as a family but having said that when we do do a longer trip it makes all the difference this car um the leaf which we've had for many years well, since 2014 which is sat over there at the moment um you know it, it was just it just transforms the whole experience just having that extra capacity um and going up you know going up today what we were doing today those those are sort of occasions where destination charges are perfect. We just parked at Riverside car, car Park in um, in Newark, plugged in. Yeah, typical sort of charge your car, charge points. I I I find sort of a little trying sometimes, as I suspected, as I commented on. Um, it wasn't charging. I mean, I knew it wasn't charging because the LEDs weren't pulsating on the front. But um, I just wanted to go and say hello to, you know, the in-laws at the time. So I came back, like I say, as I suspected, it wasn't charging. It was just the second port on the post. Swapped the swap the ports into the into the first port. Started again, and it was fine. So no, no problem really. But yeah, after the after the time we had there, you know, we had a nice walk round. We had a nice bit to eat, a little, little picnic, and then. Had a walk up to the castle, went for a drink at the pub, and um, by the time we came came back, you know, like I say, it was it, it was just perfect, um, no problems coming back, and the di the difference it makes, I think the big difference the MG ZS EV makes to life, in my experience, is I drive at normal road speeds, um, so I drive at seventy on a dual carriageway. Yeah, okay, if I need to eke out mileage, as I would do on the bike, on the electric bike, I will just, I will drop that down. But there was no need to today. I knew we were going somewhere, we were going to be stopping there two or three hours. Um, so it's plenty of time to plug in and, and, and grab some grab some electricity while we were there. And then co subsequently coming back, absolutely no problem. Again, I could just drive at normal road speeds, aircon on. And it was nice for the whole family, you know, you know, car full of the whole family and um, everyone was happy. Everyone was at a nice temperature. We weren't crawling along roads. So, yeah, it, it's it is a transformative experience compared compared to the Leaf. And the Leaf, the Leaf is still a great car. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love that car. We still have it. In fact, 
my mother-in-law who went to see my, my eldest daughter is is um, shortly going to be heading off to France for a year to do a year abroad university year abroad and um, while she's away well, we we're not going to be really using the leaf so I suggested that my mother-in-law might want to uh, to use it for the year so that's what we're going to do she's going to have it for the year and um, that'll be another fossil car off the road she, she most of her miles are local so you know it's it's kind of perfect for her and they still have a internal combustion engine my stepfather-in-law has one so um, they have access to that when they need to travel further which they do need to do you know so uh, yeah perfect combination um, in terms of what we are mileage wise uh, so at 3152 I can't recall what we started at the, at the start of the day I'll put that on screen or something um, obviously batteries down to about we're down to about a third getting back and I'm happy to I might just plug it in and put it on eco plus for um, and leave it on tomorrow if it's a nice day tomorrow so it's uh, just benefiting from using solar power but no um, really pleasant day it's been a great a really nice weekend yesterday full electric day today a full electric day yesterday two wheels electric day today four wheels electric day and it's a really nice I've had a really nice weekend on both days without chucking crap out the back of a, an exhaust pipe bonus right thank you for watching and hopefully see you again soon